Hello everyone, welcome to your next uh, Framework 7 tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be doing some other cool stuff. And um, like I told you, this, these are the preliminaries and uh, that was why we've had a lot of talks. And um, the, the main thing you have to take care of is understanding how Framework 7 treats pages. There are different types of ways to create new pages. For instance, this is our home page. Um, this is our home page. What if we wanted to create another page about the about of the app? And um, what if we wanted to link these guys to other pages? And if you understand this, the rest of the tutorial is it's very simple. The rest of the framework is actually quite simple. First of all, I want to show you how to create um, extra pages. Uh, if you have coded jQuery Mobile, you will notice that jQuery Mobile expects you to have all your pages. This is a page. These are pages, and then we can have um, this one page. In jQuery Mobile, we can have multiple pages on the same um, file on this particular index.html. We can have multiple pages inside, and um, we can do that here too. So let, let's try and create extra page. But then we, we have to enable something called um, data cache. And uh, what we will do is create another page right here, another div, and um, call it. Uh, uh, we will just call it. Um, page of course uh, we'll, we'll open a class and tell it that hey what we are creating is what am I doing for God's sake this guy <laughs> should actually be here this is funny okay um, we we'll create another we we'll create this div and call it um, a, it's a page but then we, we tell it that hey it's cached to Okay, then um, we name, we give it a name, data page. Remember, data page, and um, what was the name of this page about? So just just refresh your memory a bit. This guy is a page, and it's inside pages, right? So this page, the same thing, data page index. The name of this page is index, and um, the classes page. So we created another page under it and called it the classes page, but then it's cached. Cache means it should stay at the background until we we click on something to bring it up. So the same um, the same um, for format for pages, but then I'll just say hi inside it. I'll say hello everyone. Everyone, this is our about page. So that has been settled. The next thing we'll do is okay since it's cached. Let's let's quickly check what it looks like on our web page. We show up on our app and refresh. Hit on the refresh and um, guess what? Uh, nothing happens. It doesn't show up, but then it's still there. For us to work with cached pages, we have to enable it in our app.js. And uh, I want to remind you of um, an error. If you look at this guy here, we have an error here, but uh, if you didn't notice it before. Let me show you now. Um, whenever you're coding in in anything that has to do with JavaScript, always make sure that the, the bottom part of the screen is enabled. That is, you right, you basically right click on the page and inspect element. It will pull up this guy here, and um, that's how we we're able to minimize this. But then when you click on Console tab, we notice that there is an error. It's telling us uncut uncut syntax error, uh, missing. Um, Close parentheses uh, after argument list, and it's telling us the file it is in. So when we click on this file, the console opens it. As, this is like one of the best debuggers ever. Shows it the line that it's expecting. There is an error. So when we go back to our code on my app.js in our code, my app.js, we we find out something that here we made a mistake. There should be a, a bracelet here. So we hijack everything inside this guy. I put inside this bracelet. So it's framework seven. Um, we have this parenthesis, then bracelet, then everything inside. Then we have bracelet closing. So let me space it out well so you see. So all these other parameters we're setting up here is inside um, this bracelet and this. Okay. So that being said, so let's go check whether our error is still there. So we refresh, reload. And then click on console, unexpected token. So let's see if we have a, and it's telling us the line two, line nine. There is a token here. We're not supposed to use um, 
this is an array back here this guy all these things are array so they should be separated by commas not um, semicolon so we separate by uh, a comma this guy is inside a bracelet that's why they say semicolon inside but then there's a comma outside then there's a this is the last one that's, that's why there's no comma if you are familiar with javascript this shouldn't be strange to you all right so let's save and um, check out one more time okay we'll click on this on console and we're good to go no more errors no more errors all right so um the only error is showing us here is that um, cordova.js is not there it's not supposed to be there it's only when we upload online to convert to apk that uh, phone gap will automatically add cordova.js but apart from that as a site is cool to go so um, we just link to it we have to enable something called dom cache we come to this part of our page in main view app view um, dynamic bar this this works only on apple phones then dynamic nav bar it's enabled here but it's only it only works on ios so we can we can remove it so we include something called dom cache and say hey true we set it to true if you don't enable this um, you can use inline pages all right what we are trying to do will not work unless we enable this so we have enabled it and um, the next thing we want to do is um is to link to it so in this this is our first page and these are the links at the bottom so we can call one of the links about and say hey link to about page okay so the link will be something that is quite simple to to remember we'll just say hash about this name is the name we gave it here data page about so if we give it but data page product we will have products so just make sure it's the same name and now we are true let us quickly um, let's go check on the site and refresh our app I want to drag this down a little okay we refresh our app as you can see um, this is now about so when I click on it it should take us to about page so why unexpected token so I clicked on it is not working I quickly checked my console and saw that hey we have an error on line 26 so when you click you will see line 26 oops we made the same mistake um, I guess I'm doing this because of reflex so this is supposed to be a comma and we get back and um, see we refresh I'm going to reload this page reload and uh, we're back here no more errors and um, when I click on about page it pulls up the about page and what is the hello everyone this is our about page so let us style it as you can see there's no top um, no nav bar no toolbar so um, when we get back to our index.html this is all we put there that was why this is all we have there that is why uh, it's like that so what we can do is to quickly copy this nav bar and replicate it there so right here inside our products page we can add a nav bar to it all right we can add a nav bar and say products page and um, this bottom button and the, the button at the bottom is no longer about it should be like back uh, to move back to the previous page and um, when you click when when someone clicks on it it should go back it should go back so we can say to do that for it to go back to the previous page in history you can add it by just adding a class called back all right and then we name it index it should go back to index page remember this guy is index page where is it um bang 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 this guy is index page so when someone visits the the products page the the link they should see at the bottom should have a back uh, when they click on it, it should go back all right so we save and um get to our app and refresh so this is um when we click on back as you can see when we click on about it brings an about page then this changes to back when we click on back we are back here so um this is how to quickly do inline um, pages and remember if you ever have any error always click on console so thank you very much see you in the next tutorial let us see how to link to external or other pages 
standard pages and other fun and cool things we can do in um, in framework 7 all right see you in the next video tutorial